Hi there kombucha lovers! So today I'm going to show you three different ways on how to open a bottle of kombucha. Now why would you need an instructional video on how to open a bottle? Well the thing is when you ferment and brew your own kombucha and when you do the second fermentation in the bottle the pressure in the bottle gets really high pretty fast. In just two days the bottle gets really hard and this is a plastic bottle and that is the reason why you don't use glass bottles when you brew kombucha. They can actually explode. So this actual bottle, it was uh, just one day ago since I last opened this and let the pressure out. Uh, because this is what you do once a day when you, brew, when you do the second brew of kombucha, the second fermentation, you have to open the bottle for just a few seconds to let the pressure out. Otherwise the bottle might actually explode. Now I'm going to show you now what happens when you open this bottle that has been fermenting for just 24 hours. So here we go. Oh man, didn't expect that. Uh, okay, I didn't really expect this to happen. When I normally open this, it sort of pours out just a little bit. But obviously the pressure was so high in this bottle that almost all of the kombucha went out of the bottle. So obviously just to open the bottle is not the way to do it. Now, another way to open a kombucha bottle would be to let the pressure out slightly, bit by bit. Now, luckily, I have another bottle with me here. It's from the same batch that I created a couple of days ago. And I will now try to open this without fluid coming out of the bottle. So you have, what you have to do is to open the bottle very carefully and let the pressure out bit by bit. Here we go. You can hear it. So what happens now is that when the air comes into the bottle, it will start the process. And as you can see, the bubbles are rising in the bottle. And when it's coming close to the top, you have to close it again. And then you will have to wait. You could just let the bottle stand like this. If you listen carefully, you can hear the, the sound of the air coming out of the bottle. So if I do it this way, if I open the bottle carefully and let the pressure out bit by bit, it will take me about 30 to 60 minutes to let the pressure come out of the bottle. Now we don't want to wait that long to get a glass of this wonderful apple juice and ginger kombucha. So let's look at the third way to open a bottle of kombucha. I discovered this just a couple of weeks ago. So this is what you do. You take the bottle and then you pour it upside down like this. And then you slightly release the pressure. You slightly open the, like this. And then you just let it drip out of the bottle. Careful, careful. You don't want to open it too much. As you can see, it's really carbonated now, this kombucha. You can feel the pressure is still very high on the bottle. That's it. You slightly turn it over like this. And you close the bottle. Here we go. Skål, as we say in Sweden. Mmm. So good.